Today I'm going to be going over the mix face in the context of Windows 10 and an external module which is the Motif ES Rack and the SL88 is going to be controlling everything from the respective ports on the back. I'm going to be using a Windows VST player called Cantabile which is much like main stage for Apple. If you own an SL88 and you're hoping the mix face will do certain things, I'm pretty confident that it's going to do everything you're suspecting it will do. The Akai MPK261 is going to route all of the mix face in the SL88 into the laptop, and the SL88 is going to route all of the MIDI data to the Motif ES rack. I will not be connecting the mix face directly to the laptop through the device port. With the mix face powered by batteries, it's connecting from the host port on the back of the mix face to the USB port in the back of the SL88. Next, we're going to set up mix face Bluetooth connectivity to the laptop. First, use the standard Windows 10 Bluetooth pairing, and if you're asked for a code, it is 0000. Here you can see my mix face is connected to Windows 10, but that's not good enough to transmit MIDI data. First, you will need MIDIberry. Look up MIDIberry on Google and then click Get. And after you click Get, you are going to get a pop-up that says Open in Microsoft Store. And then it also has a next pop-up that says Use your Windows account. It's up to you whether you want to use your Windows account. Anyway, it will install and then you'll see this. When this shows, that means MIDIberry is installed. I would close this box and I'm going to show you how to put the icon on the taskbar for MIDIberry. Just go down here and then you come up to MIDI Berry, right click, and then you go to more and then go down to pin on taskbar and you'll see it appear at the bottom. I do this just to make it convenient to open MIDI Berry rather than having to look for it. At this point, you're gonna notice that MIDI Berry has nowhere to transmit Bluetooth MIDI data. And that's why you'll need Loop MIDI. Google Loop MIDI, download and install it. After installing Loop MIDI, we'll just go to the menu bring up Loop MIDI, and we're going to set up some Bluetooth MIDI ports for MIDIberry to transmit information into Cantabile software and Ableton Live. I'm setting up two virtual MIDI ports. One is going to be called Ableton so that I can route Cantabile to Ableton. And then the next I'm going to put in a virtual MIDI port which will be labeled Mixface, which will be receiving all the input data from the Mixface. This will all be done via Bluetooth. So this is all setting up the Bluetooth connectivity, and this is all with the intention of controlling Ableton via Bluetooth. There's a reason why I run Ableton through my Cantabile software, but I can't go into that right now. But here you can see that the Mixface now has connectivity through MIDIberry, and MIDIberry has a place to put it. Unfortunately, MIDIberry doesn't quite get the MIDI channel right in the input monitor. Input monitor verifies that the MIDI data from the mix face is coming through Bluetooth to the virtual port. Ignore the MIDI channel number in MIDIberry. So now we have our virtual port set up for Ableton and for the mix face. And you'll see here the mix face input and also the Ableton output, which I'm going to show you how Bluetooth can be used to connect to Ableton Live to do some other edits. So you'll be controlling several machines with the mix face through the SL88 and through Bluetooth. You can see that the Cantabile software is using mix face Bluetooth to control Ableton. All other mix face data is going through the SL88. So let's set up the mix face and we're going to go into setting up zone one. This is going to be going to the Motif ES rack via SL88 MIDI output number two. And this is bypassing the laptop. So we're just using the USB host port. This is gonna be in zone one. So I'm gonna back out of this. And then I'm going to go to zone two, which is going to be routing through output one on the back of the SL88 into my MPK. And this is going into the laptop to control the organ draw bars in Cantabile that would be a VST instrument. And lastly, we are going to route Bluetooth through zone four, and that's going to be connecting via Bluetooth through the MIDI Berry and Loop MIDI. That's going to be controlling Ableton Live. So this way we're going to be able to see how the mix face can control with a, a module, can control a VST, and can control Ableton Live all at once. A word of warning about Bluetooth when you're running through the SL88. I would take the SL88 
and not route it to the Bluetooth, but rather I would leave it at MIDI 1 so that it's not connecting to Bluetooth through the SL88. We only want it to connect through the mix face, so I just turn this over to MIDI 1, which is kind of a dead end for this Bluetooth zone. Okay, so we've saved the mix face preset. Now we're going to save the SL88 preset so we're ready to communicate with all of our devices. So I'm just going to use the first two faders on the mix face and I'm going to show you here how these two faders are going to be controlling the first two channels, channels 1 and 2 in Ableton Live. And uh, these are going to be moving via Bluetooth. It's bypassing the SL88, just going through the air using loop MIDI and it's going to be affecting the uh, what I have as delay and reverb that I use here in Ableton. And you're going to notice that when I move those faders, it moves these. This is bypassing the SL88, and it's just going direct Bluetooth virtual MIDI communication in the laptop through Loop MIDI and MIDI Berry. And remember not to close MIDI Berry, otherwise it will stop all Bluetooth communication. Having used Bluetooth, we're going to now communicate directly with the Motif ES rack. And uh, I'm going to use the first two faders. You can see the chorus and reverb sends will be changing with the um, first two faders on the mix face. But I need to pick zone one. So now I'm in zone one, and that means I'm communicating directly to the module. I'm moving these faders here. I have them routed to chorus and reverb. Sorry about the clarity of this. It's not too good. But that just goes to show that you can bypass the laptop and you can control a module directly through the SL88 using the mix face, and that's in zone one. Now in zone two, I'm going to control an organ, and you'll see it up on the screen here in just a minute using my MPK261 to play it. And this is Cantabile. This is a Hammond B3. So now in zone two, I'm using the faders as draw bars. And the draw bars are now controlling uh, this uh, VST player, the Blue 3 VST, a wonderful Hammond B3 clone. And then if I want to control Ableton, I'm going to pick zone four. Now I'm communicating through the mix face directly with the laptop. That would be zone four. And it's going straight to... Ableton Live, and those first two channels, channels 1 and 2, are going to be controlled. I just have those first two faders pointed to Ableton Live. And this way you'll be able to see that the mix face is controlling a module in Zone 1, a VST in Zone 2, and Ableton Live through Bluetooth in Zone 4. Patch management in the mix face is one of the cool features where it's integrated with the SL88 and patch management is if you'll notice the little icon up on the right in this uh, SL88 patch You'll see the program 1 program 5s. Well, this will respond the mix face will s match the SL88 program that you've associated with it in that upper right corner of the SL88 window You'll notice on the upper right there is that picture of the mix face. If it goes gray, that means it's disconnected. So you're going to want to make sure that it is black like this. Here's you're going to see uh, it's disconnected here. And if you turn the mix face back on, the SL88 will see it. That means it's up and running. And once again, I want to show you that uh, as you change the patches on the SL88, the mix face will respond to whatever patch you put in the right display there on the SL88 the mix face will also match that patch. So that's very handy, very customizable, where you can put whatever patch up there in the SL88 that you want the mix face to land on. Another feature I was wondering is, can the mix face turn on and off zones? And the answer is yes. The mix face can turn on and off zones. So this is extremely handy. This is one of the biggest questions I had about the mix face and, of course, it didn't let me down. Feel free to ask any questions, post any ideas, and collaborate. Thanks for watching the video.